Here's how you can install Ubuntu Touch emulator on your Ubuntu PC, on your Ubuntu system. For this tutorial we'll be using this PPA. And as far as I know you can install uh, Ubuntu Touch emulator on your Ubuntu 12.04 or above. But as, as I, know, I recommend you should use an up, a more up-to-date system. Anyway, here's our our steps that we will be doing to install and run our Ubuntu Touch emulator. Okay, first we need to add a PPA to our system. We'll add this. This will add a PPA to our repository. Press enter. Then later we can update our system, update our repository. and install Ubuntu Touch Emulator. I'm gonna come back after this installation is complete. As you can see it finished updating our source list uh, and uh, now we're gonna need to install Ubuntu Emulator, Ubuntu Touch Emulator. Copy this command, paste it and press enter. Okay, it will install now our Ubuntu Touch Emulator and after it's done we're gonna upgrade our system. Okay. Now oh, it doesn't need to upgrade anything. Great. Okay. The next step is to create a virtual device. This is our. It will create our virtual Ubuntu emulator device. Uh, if you are running a 32-bit system and run this command, it will create a 32-bit virtual device, virtual phone. If you are running a 64-bit uh, operating system, the 64-bit. Ubuntu and run this command. It will gonna create a 64-bit uh, Ubuntu Touch virtual device. And if you want to create a 32-bit Ubuntu Touch virtual device on your 64-bit system, you're gonna run this command. I'm running a 64-bit 64-bit operating system, uh, and I want to, for example, create a 32-bit uh, Ubuntu Touch device. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here, and you're gonna create a 32-bit Ubuntu Touch emulator device. Okay, and press enter and it's gonna start creating it. I'm gonna pause and come back after it has finished creating a virtual device. As you can see it created a, uh, our virtual device and the default password if the Ubuntu Touch, Ubuntu Touch asks you is 0000. Uh, one more thing about this command this means that it should, it tells the uh, system that create an Ubuntu Touch Emulator device and this is the name of that device. Anyway, let's start it. If we run this command, it will just gonna start the um, Ubuntu Touch, say, with default certain things. If we run this, we can scale the size of it, for example. We can put it here and uh, change the scale of the Ubuntu Touch uh, uh, screen size to 1.3 so it will be a small screen device okay let's press this and it will gonna start it's gonna start for the first time okay great uh, <laughs> as you can see here I scaled it too small and it's gonna load 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 and uh, eventually it's gonna load it it may take some time and but it will load Okay, I'm gonna pause it and come back after it's loaded. As you can see, it's loaded, but it's very small. <laughs> you shouldn't select 0.3 scale. Okay, I think it's English. Continue. Okay, it might lag a bit, but <laughs> because of the recording and other things. But okay, this if we let's select only this continue and if you would ask a password you would enter 0000 that's the default password okay continue as you can see it lags a bit more than a bit hope your PC can run it better okay this shows that it runs so you just select a different scale Okay, skip, whatever. Okay, it's starting. Yeah, it runs pretty decently. 
Okay, let's quit it and yeah, 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 I believe your system will run better. Okay, let's, I'm gonna exit and uh, okay. Okay, for example, we don't need this Ubuntu Touch emulator anymore. We are done with testing it. Okay, this is how we're gonna delete it. By running this command, it will just create, delete uh, our Ubuntu Touch uh, virtual device. Running this command will list every devices we have created. It shows that we have one device created, it's called Ubuntu Touch and for example we gonna destroy it. Destroy it. This will destroy it. If there would be another device created with a different name, which would be written different for example, and there we would just change the name here. If it would call be called for example one two three, we would write here one two three and it would delete that device, virtual device. But we have only one device so let's delete it. Why? And as you can see, by pressing a list, these devices there are no listed. Okay, but if we want to delete the emulator, this is how we're gonna delete the emulator as well. This will delete our Ubuntu Touch emulator, and we won't be able to create any new emulators and free up some disk space, and we can clean our a system by running these commands as well. It will give us more space. Okay, let's run this. Then let's run this. clean okay then let's run clean and finally auto remove and uh, you can use Ubuntu Twix as well the janitor of Ubuntu Twix let's delete this great and finally if you don't want the repository anymore I'm talking about this repository you can run this command and it will delete the Ubuntu Touch repository as well. Okay, that, that's it. Uh, and if you would, uh, want to install Ubuntu Touch or create a Ubuntu virtual device, you should start from the beginning. And uh, start from the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe.